Okay, guys. Now, out of all the flyers that you've seen online, everything that you've seen on social media, and the person that helped me every step of the way when I came up with this idea is Miss Tony Kaufman. Miss Tony, how are you today? I'm doing good, Nolan. Thank you so much. You know what? I am absolutely in awe of the response that we've gotten from the book, from the live, and from the people that are participating. This has been a, 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 a very, I would say, it's been challenging to put together because there's so many different elements with the book and all the speakers, but so worthwhile. How do you feel about everything that you're seeing here today? You know, that's what makes this so special. Number one, this is one of the few live events that I've had the pleasure of working on where we're doing it all in one day. Yes. Normally, I have a three-day event, a five-day event, you know, 10 speakers per day, but we threw them all into this amazing bucket yes. filled with gold. And for, I mean, and it's good for everyone. You're talking health and wellness and being and mental and business development and personal development, all happening under one roof in one day. And you didn't, you, we didn't just get speakers. We got, I mean, people who are influencers. We got people who do it for a living. We've got professionals. We've got uh, MDs. You've got uh, RNs. You've got people who are pharmacists. My gosh, Nolan, I mean, you guys want to learn anything about how to handle your health from now on, starting tomorrow, starting Saturday, right? Right. And and on, on this day is when uh, you, you just can't lose. It, you've got everything to gain from watching this show. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so um, we got a lot going on. What, what, what are are some of the freebies that you're giving away. Cause I know you got something up your sleeve. Cause, <laughs> cause, so for those that don't know, I talk to business owners all day, right? I own a couple of businesses. I have a networking group. There's a lot of different things that I've done with business owners. We broke Guinness world records. We've done a lot of different things together. So you know my audience is business owners. What are you giving these people away for free? Well, I, I've got two gifts, and and and, and let me explain you. <laughs> okay, okay. Explain me, Lucy. Right. Explain, explain on, me. On the low end, and this is not this sets a bar for low end. Okay, it's valued mm -hmm. at four hundred ninety-seven dollars, and it's a one-hour group session called "Are You Camera Ready." Okay. And basically, Nolan, this is the perfect time, guys. You know you've been in front of a camera, your webcam, your 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 phone, whatever, your iPad, whatever camera you've been using. There are right ways and wrong ways to be on camera. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking my producer hat, putting on my casting director hat, and I'm saying, okay, guys, this is what you need to set yourself up properly. Here's the lights. Here's the angles. Mm. Here's the one-thirds. Here's you know what we look at you and I, Nolan, as yes. video professionals. Yes. You know, there's a lot of little tiny secrets involved that that make something look phenomenally good. Not just right. you know, hi, I'm walking down the sidewalk and here's my phone and click and you know you're doing right. visual whiplash to the point where they can't even listen to you because they they're so uh, it's so bad. And so, so distracted. I've I've literally thrown up from getting nauseous from watching people do that. Like, I got to <laughs> click off of this guy. I got to click off. I can't. Yeah, you can't handle it. So um, where your lighting sits, I mean, I'm pointing to the camera. OK, the camera is not up my nose. Right. <laughs> the right. camera, because what you say is so important at an eye level. Because even though we're not communicating one on one with people, you're still sitting in the eyes. You're still right. watching the eyes. You're still watching the the credibility and the credentials of people based on what their face is telling you. So right. the camera has to be at a certain angle. The lights have to be at a certain angle. Yes. Some people have bought those wonderful, very inexpensive thirty dollars for a ring light, right? right? With an easel. Some of them have easels with a phone holder for thirty seven dollars on Amazon. Right. But do you want your light to be direct where it's too hot or do you right. want to turn it towards the wall and diffuse it and have the light come around to you? Right. So that's a, that's another way to set up your light. So your camera, your lighting, your, where you're sitting. And then on top of everything, 
I get to have a virtual slumber party with our guests. Oh, let so, me get my PJs oh together. My you have no Let's idea. get it rocking. Let's get it rocking. <laughs> you so, know, this, this we I have uh, uh, the women of the group bring their tray of makeup. And then I start telling them precisely where does the light hit? So we do, the, we do the concealers. Right. We do, right? We do the contours. You get these Angelina Jolie lines going. I mean, you know, right. for older people like me, we start drooping in here. But you know what? That that contour right there just gave me a new chin line, man. I'm young again. <laughs> when you say a slumber party, that's not what I was. I was I was thinking silk PJs. I was thinking I was going to get my heat <laughs> together. But then you said, let's pull out the makeup. And I'm we like, do that's makeup makeovers. <laughs> and gr the girls love it. Now, listen, guys, don't, I'm not ruling out guys. I mean, for those of you who don't know me, I did Ben Nye, the science guy's makeup. So guys get makeup too, you know? Right. Yeah. If, if, if we do makeup, you, we will have to do it behind closed doors. And I don't want you on here talking about my business like that. Like, you know, I do Nolan Davis's makeup. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need you to do that, Tony. I just don't need you to do that. Well, you know, Bill has a lot of freckles. He's like right. the freckle king, but you okay. never see that because he wears foundation, right? right? Foundation and powder. And then of course, there's certain types of powders that absorb the light so that right. you don't have to see that. Right now, Nolan, you're, you've got a hot zone going on right in here and right, right here, right? Right. With the diffusing powder that we use, it looks more like what I've got. And I've got light shining right in front of me, but it doesn't make a difference because right. the powder absorbs all the light. Got you, got you. Okay, yeah. so you, you're giving that class away I'm as a group away. for free. Yes. And yes. so, but I think you have something else that you're giving as well, aren't you? Well, aren't you? Now you're talking. Now you're talking the money pit here. All right. Okay. Okay. You guys, every single person who's watching us that has a business or that's interested in creating a business, and I think all of us have businesses, you have to know what your digital footprint is. Mm. Now, if you've got teenagers that are in school, there's classes being taught to them so that they won't be stupid by ruining their life and their future with their digital footprint. Right. Uh, I just read a report that said that 87% of every HR director, every person who's going to hire you for a job is going to look you up mm -hmm. to see how, what you did on social media. Right. So if you've got, you know, if you're 16 and you've got a bottle of tequila and you're partying and your skirts up to where you shouldn't be and your blouse is down to where it shouldn't be, you might not get a job because of something stupid that you posted 10 years ago. Right. Do what we did. Keep all of your stupid stuff in the closet somewhere with no digital trace. We were stupid too, but it's just, yeah. it's just, and, and here's the thing, the, the the older you get, the more the memories fade. So I don't even remember being that stupid. I remember I, I, when I was 30, I was like, I was so stupid when I was younger. As I got 40, I was like, oh, I was kind of stupid. I'm 47 right now. Like, was I really stupid? Uh, was I, like, really I, that stupid? I can't remember any of it. You know what I mean? Thank God that, that <laughs> the 60s and 70s were not posted on Facebook. Thank you very much. Right. So that's where I'm from. So what I'm saying is that if you're starting early with your kids, you have to explain to them what a digital footprint is and how it could, well, they'll probably, they'll probably explain it to you to be real honest with you because they've had classes in it. But for us as business people, we've got a situation where uh, I want to know if uh, step number one, Nolan, if you're going to look at your business digital footprint, Vids Inc., for example, the yes. first thing that you're going to search Think about it. If you were a client, a potential client looking for me, I'd be looking for uh, video recording, um, uh, movie making or filming uh, in Houston, right? Yes. Okay. So those are three good keywords. Do a search for yourself on what you think the best keyword is for your business. Okay. Then look at the results. All right. I mean, if we did videos, all over the world, you would get, you know, 497 million results in a half a second. Yes. But if you do video recording in Houston, now you've got it down to about 12 million. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. And then when, and, and what, 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 
people tell you is, of course, you've got the ads first. You've got the first 10 things that people pay for on those keywords as an ad, a Google ad, right? right. Uh, most of the people that I know don't want to go through the ads. They want to go through the organic results. Sure. Okay. Sure. So that's not, you've got the ads and then you've got the map of Houston with all the little stars of everybody who does the recording. And then you've got the top 10, right? right? And maybe even the next three pages. If you're not on the, on the first three pages of Google as an organic provider, you're missing the boat guys. You're, you're losing your, oh, why are you even in business? <laughs> right? Right, right. So you've got to have keyword thought and doing that. So what I'm offering to every single person who's watching guys is, and this, this is something that is, it's, it's expensive. Most people can't afford it, but I'm giving it to you. It's a $1,500 executive report on what your digital footprint looks like. Boom. Okay? Right here on bio Bootcamp. All yours guys. So, so here's what they've got to do. Number one, do a keyword search. Number two, look at the results. Number three, think about it. What exactly do you want to be selling from your website? I mean, is it just a catalog or do you actually have a landing page with a call to action, you know, with a sale? Can you collect money? Do you have an e-commerce site or you just have a brochure? Right. You know, that kind of stuff. So all of that will come out in this report. Your, here's, the, here's the worst of all. The reputation management comes out. That means anyone who's giving you a one-star review or a five-star review, it'll all come out in the wash because this executive report will give you accountability. It'll give you keyword searches. It'll give you listing searches. Did you know that there's 72 sites that your company should be on? Most people have two. I did not. Okay. <laughs> right. I did not. Right. So you get, you get a grade. It's like a high school grade you, from A to F is how you rank on any of these reports. Right. Gotcha. But the neat thing, and this is what's really interesting is you don't have to be a geek or a nerd like me to know all about your digital footprint. Love the freebies that you're giving. Uh, check those freebies out right now, right here on this bio boot camp. But everybody's talking about something that I've wanted to come to you uh, you know, you you helped me put this thing together. That's why you're part of, host of this thing. Um, and some of the people that that have joined our movement is due to you because you also have an experience. Tell me about the deal with you. This is uh, it's not just a, a new thing. This is something that I started on when we first met. On what was that? Three years ago. Two years. Like two years two ago. With some change. Two years yeah. with some change. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, uh, and I've been on the jail. I, I mean, okay, first of all, I am very proudly 65 years old. And before this, I had the, the typical, you know, the, the old person kind of creaks and joints and how could I get out of bed and oh, I'm going to stand up now and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Right. That's all. I don't have that. I don't, I don't suffer from that at all anymore. Not, not joint pain, not elbow pain, not hip pain, none of that. That's number one. Number two is, uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, you, know, you will read, uh, if you'll pick up Game Changers, volume four, and now we have Game Changers, volume five. I'm in two books. Okay. Uh, also, this, my story is on my LinkedIn profile called Be a Victor, Victor Not a Victim. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, you'll know that I'm an, uh, I'm a SARS survivor. I, I had H1N1 and, uh, uh, and it took 37 days of my life in ICU. I lost my, the use of my right lung, my trachea collapsed. I was on intravenous steroids for 37 days, Nolan. Wow. For those of you who don't know what that's like, uh, right around the 20th day, you start losing your eyesight when you're on intravenous steroids. The second thing that happens is your body just freaks and you start becoming Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> you just start mm. swelling everywhere. I know that it, it helps with inflammation, but your muscles don't know what to do with all of this anti-inflammatory stuff. So it starts swelling. And okay. then on top of that, you have uh, you start with, uh, with pre-diabetes. And if you don't take care of it, uh, you will be diabetic for the rest of your life. That's what steroids will do for oh, you. Oh, wow. Okay. And, uh, and so uh, I was, I was, I finally left the hospice where they had transferred me to mm -hmm. in a wheelchair and uh, I couldn't walk 
and I couldn't talk and I couldn't breathe. I had to relearn how to do all those three things 10 years ago, okay. which is why I'm so careful with COVID because COVID is like the 30th generation of H1N1, mm -hmm. okay? It's evolved about that many times. So the, I was very lucky in that we did have a cure, Tamiflu, for mm -hmm. H1N1. There isn't one for COVID yet, okay? Right. There, you can't say, oh, go give her this shot and she'll be fine. Uh, also, um, uh, I do need to tell you that that coming back from that, Nolan, was was just a, an incredible experience for me. So I I did have a lot of my foundational living, you know, numbers set uh, quite quite bad, and I had no energy, and I had no focus, and I I, I just I I couldn't I could, I didn't know if I was going to make it. To be real honest mm. with you. Yeah. Well because of, in my opinion, because of what I've done to take care of myself, which includes the gel, mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm back. I mean, yeah. I, I, most people say, how are you, how do you have that much energy? And I think to myself, this is like halfway guys. <laughs> right, right, right. This is not the full load here. <laughs> right. So, uh, so in my opinion, I have felt extremely good. Uh, I use it twice a day. In, mm -hmm. once in the morning and once in the evening and i would recommend it to you hands down hands down above anything else i mean i i take good care of myself but that is the first thing that i apply and the last thing that i apply mm, i love it i love it all right well we're going to get back to some of these speakers some of these doctors some of these weightlifters. we got all kind of people right here anything you want to say before we go yeah welcome to the rest of your life, guys. This is Bio Boot Camp Live, and Nolan, you've got we're you've got just this unique team of amazing individuals, and uh, and by the way, this is just the first time we do Bio Boot Camp Live. I see a lot more winners coming Absolutely. in the future. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much, Tony. I'm going to go out here and get uh, in front of another speaker. I appreciate you always. Talk to you soon. Love you. All right. Love you too.